Hey everybody, Thunder here. Today is July, what, 23rd, 2014? Might as well be 2055 the way things are going here. <laughs> Talk about a convoluted mess. I just had to do a video on this because it's like it's almost, to me, it's very surrealistic as to what's going on. And I'm going to cover a lot of ground today. I think the world's on the verge of... Uh, I don't know what. Because you look at the news, and I don't care what news you look at, whether you click on Yahoo. I don't watch TV, but sometimes I just like click on the news, and I watch certain incidents very closely, things that could explode and turn into World War III overnight, like the Ukraine thing and the Hamas thing and the Israeli thing and the... I mean, there's so many things going on simultaneously. It's convoluted is the word I'm looking for here. The world's in a convoluted mess right now, completely out of control, convoluted. Now, if you just go on your day-to-day, -day, everyday business and you don't notice this stuff or you don't listen to the mainstream media or you don't listen to anything or you're just like with blinders on, well, then you don't know about any of this stuff. But I think people do know. Got so many things going on right now that it's insane. And then one story appears and then disappears and another one comes up. It's just as, and they're all horrific. They're all horrific. Death, mayhem, destruction, killing of innocence. Killing of innocence, that's the thing that bothers me. The killing of the innocents, and I mean that in two ways. Killing of the innocents, meaning children, and killing of the innocents, meaning we're no longer innocent to what's going on. We shouldn't be. Well, what's going on, people? Well, let me tell you what's going on. We got about six different incidents right now in the world happening, maybe more, that are all mucked up, okay? We got, we got the Ukraine thing where they shot down the Malaysian airliner over there. We don't know who did it, supposedly. We know who did it. It wasn't the Russians. I have my own opinion, and I'm saying it wasn't the Russians, because you don't accuse somebody five minutes after something happens and there's all kinds of reports coming out and the Russians came out and, and showed all kinds of tapes showing weird stuff. Now as a pilot I look at this kind of thing closely, okay? And airliners just don't get shot down with 300 people on board and not know who did it, okay? In broad daylight. You got cameras everywhere, believe me. You got the two, vo you know, you got the two black boxes and the voice, uh, the cockpit voice recorder and the other black box that tells you how, what happened to the plane. Okay, you got, you got air traffic control, you got radar, you got radar satellites. You got a million eyes on that, baby. And for you to stand there or anybody to stand there and tell me they don't know who did it or what happened, that's crazy. Or to accuse a certain country of it five minutes after it happens before you even look at the damage or even get into the wreckage on the scene. There's an agenda here, people. And it's convoluted. And then the next, that, the next then at the same time you got Israeli going in and killing the innocents, saying that there's tunnels and this and that in Gaza. You know, they've been persecuting the Palestinian people for years. And I think the death toll is like close to 700. And men, women, and children, hospitals, doesn't matter. Blow them up. And then you got Hamas lobbing rockets into Israel that are now more sophisticated and 
Then you got the, the, the people over in Iraq that we armed, the Syrian rebels went rogue and are over in Iraq now and are calling themselves ISIS. All this stuff is going on at the same time. And not only that, but at, while all this stuff is going on, new stuff is arising continually. Boom, boom, boom. Today we had a car blow up in some country and then two more jets got shot down, not airliners, but Ukrainian jets over in Ukraine. I mean, it's crazy, people. It's scary. And I'm not one to, I mean, I'm a warrior, and I look at this stuff and I go, this is just chaotic, convoluted crap out of control, and the spin on it is off the wall. <clears throat> it's off the wall, people. There's so many lies going on. And this is all to cover up something. Whether it be the coming financial crash because people are saying that there's a big World War III of finance going on behind the scenes. And all this stuff could be reflective of that or trying to cover that up or trying to get us ready for a financial breakdown or trying to get our minds off something. And one minute the White House comes out and says something with no proof and then they can, the next minute they come out and they retract and then blah, 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 and the Russians come out. Now the Russians have been pretty straightforward, I will have to admit. Now is this a ruse? I don't know, but Putin and the Russians have been damn straightforward with what it's going on and they've provided proof they've provided the only tapes that we have had to this point air traffic control uh, radar but there's so many stories and so many convolutions and so many spins and so many lies and most of it's coming from the West unfortunately and then the whole thing is, this whole thing could have been done to garner hate against the Russians because the West has been trying to get the partners in the EU or their partners or their allies to support sanctions for the original Crimea thing, which was really nothing. And the EU does not want to support sanctions because they're all doing business with Russia, but yet the U.S. doesn't like Russia. It's a, it's, it's a mess, people. It's the killing of the innocents over resources and some kind of game plan that the globalists have. Now, I don't want to freak everybody out but this is like and it gets now see it gets to this high pitch fever and then it calms down and then it gets even more intense then it gets less and then it even gets more intense it's almost like you know if I was to write a, a, a science fiction movie I couldn't even uh, this this you you couldn't make this stuff up or if I was to write an end of the world scenario movie where everything all of a sudden went haywire and crazy and everybody was nuts and then you go on YouTube and you got all these people <laughs> and I just did did a thing about Christians boy am I <sighs> people just don't get it you know but uh, I've been into some pretty deep conversations which some of you might have seen because it's Google and, you, and the ones that see these videos usually see the Google comments. I don't try to mask them, I just am what I am. I get pissed off like everybody else at these idiots that go on there constantly and well, let me put it this way. The Christians are in full bloom right now talking about the, you know, the end times and G accept Jesus Christ as the Lord as your Savior and on and on and on and on. It's time to repent. <laughs> uh, well, they 
Maybe they need to think about repenting for what they did to the Native Americans when they came over here in the first place and killed everybody and made everything unnatural that was natural in the first place. That's where it all started. Coming over here and telling the Native American or the indigenous people or the natives or the natives of this land, you're not one with nature, that's blasphemy. God created nature and he created you and you're separate and you're not one and we're gonna shave your head and wash your mouth out with soap and blah, blah, blah. That's where it all started. And the massacre at Wounded Knee and the massacre at, that was the real killing of the innocents. That's where it started. Putting people on reservations, giving them smallpox blanks. Oh yeah, I left another thing out, which reminds me. Then you got the thing at the border with the people pouring over the border right now. I mean, really, you couldn't make this shit up. There's so much stuff happening. And it's not like, you know, I'm just an informed person here, okay? I'm an informed person. I don't watch TV. I haven't watched TV in seven years. I just go on the internet and I look at maybe two channels, YouTube channels, or ones that I trust with some kind of, but even those people are starting to flip out. <laughs> I mean, everybody's flipping out right now. Everybody's out of balance. Everybody's, it's out of control right now. It's a high pitch, or excuse me, high pitched fever of convoluted killing and, and convoluted information and convoluted, everything's convoluted. You know what convoluted means? It means everything's turned upside down, topsy-turvy. You can't tell from, you know, can't tell your ass from a hole in the ground, okay? So, that's what's going on, and I just thought I'd do a video about it, because I'm like, man, maybe I better get a video in before the world ends. <laughs> I mean, I'm laughing, but it's not funny. And everything that, I mean, this is really something that, that irritates me is that innocent people, the killing of the innocents. Okay, let's think about that for a minute. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's think about the killing of the innocents and the blood on the hands of these people that are shooting down airliners and trying to blame it on somebody else and killing and maiming and blowing children apart. It's the kids. And when I think of my grandchildren or my grandchild, I'm like just shaking my head going, how can they do this to kids? How can they do it to any human? How can they do it to an adult? How can they do it to... All I got to say is that if there is a God that the Christians believe in that is going to burn people in hell, they're in deep shit. <laughs> I mean, because most of these people call themselves Christian. Man, I'm glad I'm not in that camp. Like I said before, I believe in masters, great masters like Yeshua and Buddha. And But everything right now is gone off the charts. It's even the movies. Even the movies are depicting apocalyptic end of the day, end of the time. Uh, you know, the day after the apocalypse, the aliens, the zombies, the, just horrific stuff. Man, I'm watching old stuff old western movies and stuff, old Clint Eastwood and, you know, Glenn Ford and, yeah, I guess I'm dating myself, but, you know, just trying to keep my sanity here, wondering what is going on in the world and what 
is going to end this mess because we're going to end ourselves. I got news for you. And it's too bad about the innocence being killed. That's the thing that bothers me the most. I guess I should be bothered about anybody being killed, but children are innocent. And it's, it's some heavy karma or some heavy duty. There's going to be some, there's going to be a heavy price to pay somewhere along the line for these idiots, the globalists or whoever. See, nobody knows who's doing this stuff. The Christians say that the world's been taken over by Satan and the other people are saying that, that, that you know, uh, it's the globalists that have an agenda and they don't care about humanity and they're using the whole thing to further their agenda, Agenda 21, the Wolfowitz Doctrine, that thing. And then you hear all kinds of stories about why this is being done, but nobody knows why. Nobody knows why man's flipped out friggin' crazy right now. And is it worse than it's been in the past? I guarantee you it is. Because I've been around a while, and I've never seen anything like this. It's bonkers. It's like everybody took a pill or something and went nuts. There's no balance in the world with the yin and the yang, okay? It's totally out of balance. It's wavering. It's, it's almost to the point of like going dimensional or something. I expect anything at any moment. But yet it keeps being propped up and propped up and propped up by the monetary system, keeps being propped up by lies. And then, you know, you have horrific events come along and then all of a sudden they're they're propped up, but the, the media is lying, uh, you know. They're lying through their teeth about everything for whosever agenda they want to take sides with. But the American press is no longer free, and this is a police state. I got news for you. And that's the funny thing about it, isn't it? You got a camera on every corner, and you got a camera in your house, and you got a camera in your pocket on your cell phone, and you got a camera here and a camera there. And yet, when an airliner goes down in broad daylight, we don't know who did it. That's a bunch of bullshit and lies. Okay? I was a pilot, I flew, I, you know, I know all about transponders, black boxes, air traffic control, all that stuff. That's all on tape, people. You can see if a missile comes up and hits an airplane. <laughs> what, are you kidding me? Oh, we don't know who did it. Well, you know, that's a lie right off the bat. We, you know. Or this person did it. Oh, really? Well, let's see the tapes. Let's see the evidence. Or are you just trying to start a war or push somebody in a corner? It's the killing of the innocents. The innocence of mankind and the innocence in the world. And nobody cares because they're going along day to day in their BS routine of going to work and slaving for the man and trying to make ends meet. It's not their fault. I'm not blaming them, but they're not paying attention. People, you got to friggin' pay attention. Because young kids are dying, okay? And people are dying. And it's, and it's, it's ramping up here. And there's kids coming across the border that are probably being used and pushed across the border ahead of something behind them. No, not terrorists, because I don't believe in terrorists. Not the way they're painting. You know, this all happened since 9-11. It all kicked off in 9-11. We got terrorists now. 
and everything is blamed on terrorists. The terrorists in Ukraine shot down the jet. The terrorists in, you know, in, uh, over in Palestine are attacking the Israel. The terrorists and let me tell you one thing about the, the, the church and state thing. Church and state are in bed together. The so-called, quote, Christians and the government. And then, you know, where the Bible came from was written by Jews. So, of course, the Jews in their lobby are heavily entrenched in with America because, really, Jews and Christians are the same. The only thing different about them is that Jews don't think the Messiah came yet. And religion, that's another thing. People are, you should see the comments on YouTube about religion and not religion and this and that and my religion's better than yours and Orthodox Christianity and Christianity and blah, 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 blah. Who cares? Who cares? about what you believe. And I don't know how many times I got to tell you people, it's just a belief system that was indoctrinated in your head. And they use it to divide and conquer. They, I don't know who they are to you. The people with the money, the people with the control, who are they? Well, it could be like the Wizard of Oz. It could be nobody. Some people say there's five people that are globalists, that don't like humanity and have their own agenda to fix everything. I say instead of having all these hundreds of thousands of innocents die, put a hit squad out and take care of these globalists that are causing all this shit. I mean, I, I'm, I'm starting to, it's really hard to detach from all the chaos around us, but maybe that's the key, you know? But it's hard when the innocents die. It's hard when the children die. It's hard when you see your grandchildren's future to detach completely. But I guess that's what you got to do. Otherwise, you'll get so angry and upset that you'll get sucked right into it. And you got to remember that that saying, I guess, you know, here I am preaching to myself, but it's good because I'm telling you too. Uh, calm down, thunder. <laughs> no, but it just gets to me, you know, and it's kind of cathartic when I do a video. And I'm wondering if you people are seeing the same thing or I am, and if you're not, well, maybe you better look around or. Maybe you better give me a phone call and give me some help. Maybe I'm hallucinating all this stuff. <laughs> I'm not. Just kidding. But it's a bitch, you know, when, you, when you're when uh, you aware of things. And you see things and you see the machinations, you know. I guess you could liken it to, like, let's say I'm a master strategist, which I am not bragging or anything. Let's say I'm a master chess player and I'm sitting there watching two people play chess or three people or four people or whatever or the game of Go, which is Japanese, which is even more strategic. Let's just say I'm sitting up there watching it. That's what I'm doing. I'm watching the game, the world chess game. Okay. And these stupid idiots are sitting down there watching the, the football games and the World Cup and all that, and they think that's a big deal. Man, you ought to take a look at what's going on in the world game. <laughs> so just like in chess, man, they sacrifice pawns. You know, they put a pawn forward and it gets taken out. Well, the pawns are the children, the innocents or the people, or, the, or a whole country of people, or a whole plane load of people. It's hard for me to just sit here and turn my back on it. And say, oh, that ain't happening. Yeah, just another day in the SOSDD, same old shit, different day. No, it's not. It's worse stuff, different day.
Well, I already said it once. Worse shit, different day. It's getting worse every day. Now the crazy thing, like I said, is you're sitting here watching this chess game and you're, you're like seeing all these things happening and then all of a sudden all the chess pieces get knocked over and everything gets convoluted and set up and back down and whoop, that, up and down, up and down, and crazy and cross, and all this stuff. And then all of a sudden, boom, you look there, <clears throat> you look there and you see that there are no people playing chess. There's just the chess board. Okay. Well, you might see America, or you might see Russia, or you might see Iran, or you might see Saudi Arabia, or you might see this, or you might see that. But who's controlling the chess pieces, and why are they doing it? Besides, well, one thing we know for sure, it's got to be about greed or money and power. Greed, money, and power. GMP, greed, money, and power equals kill the innocents. So what do we do about it? Detach totally and just throw up our hands and watch it like it's a TV show and say, oh, I wonder how this is going to come out, I guess. I'd love to hear your comments on it. You know? But I don't think anybody knows what's going on because you go on these YouTube channels or the financial channels or the people that cover this stuff and they're like shaking their heads. And most of them keep saying, there's one guy that keeps saying, well, when do you think it's going to end? Or when do you think this is going to come to a head? Or when do you think gold prices are going to go back up? Because all these people are buying gold and silver thinking that's going to save their ass when doomsday comes if it comes. Maybe doomsday's already here. Maybe we're in hell and don't know it and we're going to get out pretty soon. I don't know. All I know is something went terribly wrong back when the uh, original natives of this land lost it. Lost the land. Lost the... Something went terribly wrong back then. Terribly, terribly wrong. I don't know if it can ever be fixed. You can never, I keep thinking about, man, even when I was a kid, things as bad as they were growing up during the, when you used to hide under your tables in school, in class, because you, the air raid sirens would go off as a drill, as a practice to hide under the tables in case there was a nuclear attack, like that would help. That's how we grew up, and even then, back then, it was a lot milder than now. I mean, compared to now, that was paradise. That's what I'm saying. I mean, you didn't lock your doors even back then. You didn't think about murders or anything. Murder in a town the size of Phoenix or San Diego or wherever was big news. And then another thing that I notice is that, you know, the stock market, the, the way that you know that that's rigged now and that they're not telling you the truth about that or the finances or anything, because people all know that it's, we're on the verge of financial breakdown, the smart ones. And, they, and, and the people in the know know that they're rigging the numbers and the job numbers and how can the stock market be at all-time highs right now, the highest that it's ever been, with all this bad news out there? Because I remember the day when you had bad news, just one little bit of bad news, somebody killing somebody in some country or a small war or a small incident, and the stocks would go, ooh, and dive way down. and. It would cause a big fluctuation in the stock market because they didn't like it. Now the stock market, you got complete friggin' chaos and it just shoots way up into the atmosphere. Like everything's great. Let's go out and buy a lot of stocks and stuff. You know that's fixed. When that happens, there's a pure sign right there. 
Nobody's spending money. Nobody has any money. Do you have a lot of money? And then you go to the grocery store and you see that, you know, your bill might, you might spend like, you might go in one shot at a time and spend $40 and now it's up to 50, 10% increase. It's crazy, people. And I'm telling you right now, people better wake up and try to figure out what's going on here and band together and join a group like the Campfire Council. Links below on that if you want to check it out. But at this point, I don't know how long at the rate things are going, this is going to... And yet people are spending, out spending the money they do have. Like... I don't know, they say guys, uh, you know, have their moon time. <laughs> Maybe I'm having my moon time right now, I don't know. Just like women do, you know. Maybe I'm just... All I can say is that the world has changed a whole lot, people. A whole lot since I was a kid. And since I was brought up. And since the times that I lived in. And yes, there were bad things that happened that were bad. There's always been bad things, but not to this high pitch worldwide. Everything's connected. You don't know. But see, back then when something went bad, you kind of knew who did it. You knew who was the cause of the problem. At least you thought you did. It wasn't a million different people pointing their fingers, boom, 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 all pointing their fingers at one another and this, no. There was some semblance of sanity. There is no semblance of sanity now. None whatsoever. And the innocents are getting killed. So think about it. I don't know. Now, I do accept comments on these videos, but I moderate them. I look at them first and make sure that they're not, you know, utter stupidity and moronic. And then I'll allow them and I'll allow comments on. But don't come on here with a bunch of Bible thump and tell me it's the end of the world. Okay, that could be. I'll give you that, okay? So I don't want to hear about it. But tell me what you think from a real spiritual standpoint from somebody in the know, somebody that's intelligent, because all these people that just parrot their religious belief systems over and over and over again don't know a goddamn thing about them or where they came from or why they believe them. I don't want to hear it. It's just confusing more people. What I want to hear is some rational, coherent thought about what you think as a person or what you think should be done or what you think is happening in the world today. I'd love to hear your comments about the killing of the innocents. I'll leave it there, but I wanted to do this video because I think I needed to. For the people that don't know what's going on and for the people that know that want to comment on it, this is like, you know, this is, this is kind of like, you know, you're standing in a big city and the lights go out and there's explosions in the sky and all this stuff and you, you get together with your neighbor and you kind of discuss, well, what is, what's going on here? That's what this is about. And it could be very soon, very easily, any minute. And no, I'm not a doomsday guy. I just, like I say, I look at stuff. And I know stuff rises up and dies down. That's what they do. 
They do it to freak people out. That's one of my theories. Let's freak people out, get them into a high fever, pitch, paranoid mode while we put in some new legislation to restrict their freedoms more. Or What's the agenda here? And why kill a bunch of innocent kids? That's what I want to know. That pisses me off as a warrior because I'm like a dog soldier or an Apache, I'll stake myself out and fight to the death for women and children and my grandchildren. But I gotta know what's going on to do that. I gotta know who the enemy is and you don't even know. Well, you do, kinda. Anyway, that's it for today. That's my rant for today. If nothing else, it's better than watching the, these reality shows, right? <laughs> At least you get some information. Thunder over and out.